All right, we want to select the proper Lewis structure for xenon dioxide difluoride, um, which actually has the Lewis or the uh, formal charges minimized. All right, we can eliminate A right off the bat because it doesn't have the property proper Lewis or form it doesn't have the proper number of valence electrons. However, both B, C, D, E, or all the rest do. All right, and that is 34 valence electrons. All right, so we're just going to be checking our, our uh, formal charges. All right, so an oxygen right off the bat here on, on B that has uh, two pairs of electrons and two bonds would have a formal charge of zero. And anytime I see an oxygen like that, I can just label them as having a formal charge of zero. Now, the other option of oxygen, like uh, on D, I have six minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a formal charge of negative one, and this one does. All right. Um, fluoride, all of our halogens like to look like they do in B, that have six lone dots and then one bond, because those all have formal charges of zero. So I'll go ahead and fix all those on any that have a fluoride like that. And then the last one is fluoride with two bonds and four lone electrons. That would actually have a positive one from the charge. All right, and then last thing in the middle is our xenon. So I'll start here on this last one here. I'm going to put a little arrow pointing at all my xenons, but we're going to do E first. So I have eight minus... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Formal charge is positive one. Eight minus one, two, three, four, five, six, positive two. Eight minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, negative two. Formal charge of eight minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero. So it looks like B has a bunch of zeros, so B is our actual answer.